Ready? Yeah. Cole? Okay, I'm recording. Now concentrate, Jody. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. Thank you, Dad. It's so pretty. Open it. was her music box. Laura. Yeah. Nathan? Okay, I'll tell him. Nathan, someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says you know what it's about. Yes. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. Hey, where are you going? Aren't you gonna wait for Nathan? What's, what's going on, Nathan? You, you look upset. Jody, this is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agency, the agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's gonna take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody. Today. I don't understand. Why me? This unit belongs to the CIA. They've been tracking your case ever since you arrived. They know what you and Aiden can do. What am I, a toy? Some kind of a test subject? Did you ever just stop and think about what I want? Jody, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. I don't care what you think. I'm not going anywhere. Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. Jody, no. Jody, stop immediately. Go get my things. <laughs> yeah. Only the essentials. We've got everything you need at Camp Perry. Ha, ha, ha. 
Princess. I'll come and see you as soon as I can. I'll never let you down. You know that, don't you? I'll always be there for you. Time to go. It's Ryan. Ryan! I was just wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Um, uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look good. I gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, oh. I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. A, I mean, it's, it's the easy way out, but he's not gonna mind. Now, I'll call them. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. Right. The trash can in the kitchen.
books. Okay, on the bookshelf. Okay, great. All right, dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. All right, there. Oh, crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming! Oh, good one, Aiden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. Aiden! Aiden, come on, open up! Come on, Luke's disciplines around here. You wanna play games? I can play too. Well, maybe he'll expect, like, a real dinner. Asian beef. I mean, it looks suitably exotic. <laughs> as long as I don't manage to fuck it up. Thanks, Aiden. So far, so good. Use a walk. Ginger. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. I mean, it's not in the recipe, but... All right, add the sake for flavor. 
I think I'm beginning to like cooking. Ryan, you are gonna love this. Crap. <clears throat> Just hold on, I'm coming. I didn't behave yourself. Okay, this is important to me, and I'm counting on you. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me, so. Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> cool apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. Do you want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> it's my new apartment. <laughs> wow, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything. Which is And how about you? Where where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. Yeah, it's small, but you know it's got a little garden. And it's pretty quiet. And did you did you grow up here? Or? No, no. I, I was born in Oregon. Now my parents and brothers still live there, but I, I moved out when I was sixteen. <laughs> Aiden's messing with us. Ignore him. Ignore him. So I should probably, you know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure <laughs> for me. You need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> okay. Ah, Asian beef, right? Yeah. Is... No, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian food. Oh, well, do not get your hopes up because this is 
probably the second time that I've cooked, and I would rather not talk about the first time. <laughs> Good. Oh, good. I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. So we've been working together now for what, what two years. I mean, almost nothing about you. Yeah, your parents. Do you? Uh, you still see them? Everything's okay. Yes. Yeah, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this lamp with Ivy? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the infra world. I think there's something wrong with Aiden. Give me a second. Listen, I'm fed up with you and your goddamn jealousy. So why don't you just go back to whatever ethereal fucking place you came from and let me get on with my life? Get out of here! Do you fucking hear me? Get the fuck out! Is he here now, listening to us? And... Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves. Um, it's nothing. It's um, probably just the, the, the dishes. I, mu I must have piled them too high. Do you have any family here? No. No, my uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. Fuck, Aiden! I need you to just stop! Listen, I... I better go. No, no, Ryan, wait! No, Jody, look, I... <laughs> Aiden's very possessive. I, I think you gotta work it out with him. Jody, look, we need to rush it. Hey, let's just take some time to get to know each other. Maybe I even wind up being okay with that. Are you happy now? You get what you wanted. He's gone, and now you have me to yourself. I really hope you're deliriously fucking happy. Why don't you just float around in your invisible world and watch me cry? I hate you! Do you hear me? I fucking hate you!